Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of AD&D's Dark Queen of Kren. We are in part 5 of this blind playthrough. Let's get going. I think I have to answer this. Okay, good. Alright, so it looks like we're ready for a level up. Pretty sure this is the right save game. I think we're gonna be level 20. Yeah, this is the right one. Nice. Hey there, Duncan. Welcome to the stream. How are you? I guess, oh, all these spells are pretty bad. I think I'll get Death Spell, even though it's probably not going to be useful. The rest. So last time we broke into this one place with all, all those Minotaur, we killed them successfully, but another wave was coming. So I'm assuming uh, that'll just keep happening. So we will not do that again. So let's take a look at what spells we have on 6th level. Fleshed Stone. I guess we'll do a Death Spell. We get an extra 8th. Oh boy! Power Word Blind. It's the only one that we can memorize. <laughs> Uh grand limiting our spells. We're already limited so much. Okay. So we'll go back to that area, but we're not going to do that building again. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Dang it. Yeah, I was going to get rid of these invisibilities. Let me get rid of them. And I'm going to get rid of blank. Because in this one, this engine, you can't cast it outside of combat. Like we could in Death Knights. So we're going to get rid of it. Oh. Dang it. Get rid of these again. I have to say, don't keep. Okay, here we go. So let's get a fireball and two lightning bolts. <laughs> Duncan says, sees invisible. Yeah, exactly. They broke it, and they made pretty much every game now where that monsters can see, even though they shouldn't be able to. Okay. I need to do resistance casts too here. Because we're fighting Minotaur mages that are casting Delayed Blast Fireball. Okay. I guess we'll go ahead and do the cold too while we're here. I think the only spell that is affected by that is um, Cone of Cold because Ice Storm bypasses it. We've been in the library. You see an old stooped minotaur yelling at a frail shackled human. You stupid monkey, look at my robe. You splashed mud on me with 
You are ugly, fleshy feet. You will never do that again. Understand, fool? The furious Minotaur raises his cane and viciously strikes the slave. Frail human crumbles at his feet. Forgive me, master, I beg you. Ah! Cain lashes him again. What do you do? Ignore them? Shout, stop or attack. <clears throat> I'll shout stop first. What? How dare you interfere? You, the old Minotaur swings his cane at you. Strike him? Apologize. Strike him. Gah! You animals, guards, take them. Dozens of soldiers come running to the aid of the old mentor. They quickly overpower you. You fools. Spits the old mentor climbing to his hooves. I am Embasolianus the third, the king's great great uncle on his mother's side. You will pay for the sacrilege with your lives. Guards take them to the imperial prison. Before you can react, dozens of soldiers descend upon you. What? We don't even get to fight them. What a scam. Shackles are clamped over your wrists as you lose consciousness. You wake up in a small holding cell, shackled to the wall. The emaciated human is also here. He cocks his head toward you. I've heard them talking. It's the arena for you. Minotaur justice is swift. The old Minotaur you assaulted has hired the best champions money can buy. You'll never come out alive. Wake up, monkeys. It's time for you paid your for your sacrilege. Escort these ruffians to the arena. The guard ties your shackles together and drag you into the arena. Arena scam. You hear the crowds cheer wildly as you enter the arena. Justice will be served, pigs. I thought we were monkeys, not pigs. Okay, so let's see what we're dealing with. Minotaur champ. Mage. Two Minotaur mages? Okay. Now, I think, don't they have lightning shield, or, or not lightning shield, they have um, fire shield on them, I think. <clears throat> so we'll take damage if we hit them. I think the magic staff sling can work. So let's do this. Let's come down here. Oh, they have slings? That's weird. We'll use the necklace of missiles to hit one group of these. And then, well, hopefully the mage will go. Oh, I should have shot it down further to the south. Let's see. You don't have anything useful there. Oh, they don't have lightning shield. Okay. Or keep calling it lightning shield. Uh, fire shield. There'll probably be multiple waves, is my guess. One, two, three, one, two, Fire touch.
Fire touch again. Minotaur champ is stunned. Uh. Duncan says these Minotaurs better have magic equipment or it's a scam. Well, we already know it's going to be a scam. We already know it, I can tell you. Let's see, 12,000 experience. Let's detect magic. Oh wow, there is magic equipment. Sling, helm, shield, plate mail. Okay. So, we have a helm plus two. Plate mail plus two. Let's give it to Duncan. That's a plus two helm. Let's see. Let's get rid of this. He has a shield plus two. I think everybody's a shield plus two. So let's see if that's what these are. Minus six, minus eight. Yeah, it's just shield plus two. Helm. Helm. The slings will be useful, actually. Oh, he has a helm plus three already. I think that's what this is. Minus seven. Yep. We'll keep an extra in case we get an NPC in our party. Okay. So the slings, anyway, are going to be useful for hitting those things that are immune to normal missiles. Okay, and then plate mail. It's banded mail plus two. Should have movement loss though. It's four. Yeah, it's not worth losing that much movement. Crop. What do you have? Chainmail plus two. That may be worth the upgrade. That'll increase it by two. drop three movement. I think that's worth it. And you already have it. Elven chain. But it's magical elven chain, I think. Let's find out. Minus eight. Minus ten. Hmm. Again, we'd lose movement. You give him boots. I know someone has boots. Laws has boots. Oh, it's because he's got that Olin's quarter stuff. Oh, and this is the weird plus two play mail. That gives more movement than what it should. Okay. So let's swap it. We'll give the weird plate mail 
Duncan. Oh, come on. Okay, that's the weird blade mill. This blade mill will give to claws. You should have 18 movement. There we go. That's good. 18 and then 12s with minus 10 armor class. Nice. Hey, says Tam, welcome. How are you doing? All right, let's lay on hands because there might be another wave knowing how these games work. Lay on hands. Okay. I want to go back and claim it. Let me just double check, make sure. Yeah, nothing else we want there. Before you can savor your victory, human shouts, our new champions have showed us that minotaurs can be defeated. No longer will we be oppressed. A riot breaks out among the spectators and panic spreads quickly. Party gains experience. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we can't rest, but I probably should try to heal here with some spells. Hey, Moody, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? You doing good, Saz? Making tacos? Cool. Tacos on a Monday. <laughs> Moody says invisibility scan. It is. Hey, Mr. Spock. Welcome. How are you doing? And Bo's here. Welcome, Bo. How are you doing? I am doing great. Thanks for asking. Mr. Spock says, don't Minotaurs normally hang, hang out in mazes? Although I guess gold black schemes are just big mazes. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. They they are supposed to be in mazes. They like labyrinths. So I'm not sure why they're wandering around in towns like this. 8.2 out of 10. Nice, Moody. Glad you're doing well. Sastam says, yeah, Tuesday came early this week. Fair enough. You're doing well, Bo? Awesome. Oh, I do have a heal spell. I forgot about that. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Spectators race past you. Freedom for all humans. The Minotaur can be beaten. Training guild. Let's go see if we can rest. Nice. <clears throat> You're doing well, Bo. Awesome. And you're doing well also, Mr. Spock? Good. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if we're going to have any more random encounters since we vindicated the humans here. Still going to cast these spells just in case. And then we'll go back to the other side of town and see what happens. Let's get our resists. At least we finally got some better armor class. Those helms, plus two helms. Helped a lot. Okay, let's see what happens if we try to go in here now. Well armed minotaurs crowd around you. This is Villa. Okay, so this is the place I already tried to get into before. 
and we had to do the fight. So it sounds like maybe this is still guarded. I want to try to do it again. Uh, we'll do haste. Air image. What else? No, I have Bless. And a prayer. Be gone. You wish to live. See scores of soldiers. You cannot enter. Attack. Yeah, it's the same fight as before. Okay. Let's try a silence. And you have 18 movement. You should be able to get up and around. Oh, he has images. That's what it was. Let's try to silence this group here. Unaffected, of course. Spider said scan. I guess that one was considered to be behind a wall. This, is this the next round? What the heck? Way too many fireballs. What a scam. Oh, yeah, this is a reload. He died. I'm not doing that. Let's see. Let's see, I think I've cast everything I could possibly cast. Hastened, enlarged. Yeah, the only other thing I had was um, invisibility, and that's not going to work. Fire shield will be detrimental. So this is all RNG based on who gets to go first. So I think what I'll do is take hits from behind here. 
try to make our way over here. Yep, now our mage goes first. I'm sending her way up here so she doesn't get fireballed non-stop. Send one over here. So there's three. One, two, three. Minotaur scam, it is, Duncan. impossible without resist fire. Uh. Alright, I can hit this one with a sling, but he's got a mirror image, so most likely he will dodge it. I think I'm going to try to work my way over to this one. Such a scam. Okay, so I think marble this group. Two, three. I think it was ridiculous. Oh, there was one left. One hit point left. Oh, that was the Minotaur. Why did it show his? Okay, let's send you up here on the way. This is with hastened enlarged party members and how hard it is. Sixteen thousand experience, that's it. 
And I know none of this was magical. I haven't rested long enough to get lay on hands. You see dozens of guards pour out. Leave. Yeah. Can't get in there. It's a scam. It's the second time I tried that. Okay, we'll explore the rest of that side of the city. Hey there, Jersey. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Okay. Fire's all that matters here. Because no one ever casts Kona Cold. Let's check with this guy now that we've freed the people. Let's see what he says. Nothing. Okay. He's still selling the same junk rolls. What is this? So we freed the people, but we didn't because there's still Minotaur around here fighting. This game would definitely be impossible without a magic user. I guess we'll go back to rest again. <laughs> Welcome to the old city if you want to get out alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm like perpetually stuck in this town fighting random encounters. I can see why this is rated in the Top five worst D and D games because of that.
This is definitely the uh, form of the unlimited adventures engine, you can tell. So I wonder if it'd be easy to mod it. If you could somehow pull that in. Okay, it looks like Claus is ready for a level up. Hmm. Ah. This delay of the message always throws off the movement. Yes. Claws. Train. Level 17 Paladin. Okay, we've been to the library. The streets swarm with soldiers hurriedly marching about. The sign over this building says... Official Ministries of Christophan. The area is crawling with guards. You will, you obviously will not build on her. You see an ornately decorated building. Over its doors are carved the words Imperial Senate of Christophan. Heavily armed guards. What the heck? It's guards everywhere. Secret door. Random encounter. Mr. Spock says, I know they've done Pool of Radiance in Unlimited Ventures. Yeah. I remember seeing that. It's kind of a... I don't know. I'm not a fan of this engine. I don't feel like they play tested this game. Scores of soldiers are coming out of the barracks here. They eye you suspiciously. You cannot enter. Yeah, I can't get into any of these buildings. Fools, this is the palace of 
and Buaten Z, our beloved king, leave immediately. It's clear that you must move away. Okay, we've been in here. If you're here to take the rubbish away, I will remind you again. Servant's entrance is in the rear. Might not as well leave. Let's go to the rear. Random encounter. Mr. Spock says there is a dungeon craft engine for Windows as well. Still have tried to load any modules in there. Oh, haven't. I see. Lost an image. That mirror image is ridiculous. It's got like a 75% chance to uh, avoid the attack. Now, could you imagine if you played as multi classed characters, not dual class, but multi class, like an elf, where you could only peek at like level 8 to 10? in this game like we're level between 15 and 20 and struggling it'd be absolutely impossible all right that was a random encounter and i'm already like after two of those completely obliterated go back and rest again Okay. Yeah, this game needs some serious balancing done to it. Just fire. I'll try to go in this back entrance. I don't see a back entrance. There's no back entrance. Where silence is useless. <laughs> oh, we got hit. 
Okay, uh, let's see. Disintegrate. It lost an image. Disintegrate made it lose an image. <laughs> Silent scam. It is. This whole game is a scam. Okay, now we can do a lightning. <laughs> lightning. Shooting a bow and arrow, I guess, that has a lightning bolt in it. Uh. Mr. Spock says it's probably an engine that could be translated well to Unity like Daggerfall was. Yeah, it would actually be pretty easy to make a game like this. As long as you had the assets. It's pretty simplistic. And of course, you'd have to have the property rights. IP rights, I mean. Okay, so yeah, there was no back entrance to this. Unless there's a secret door. And there wasn't. See? Take the service servant's entrance in the rear. Aye, aye, aye. I think I'm ready to leave this town. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they did playtesting on this. We'll have to look at the credits and see if they had playtesters.
Hey, Zachary, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Is that music from the game? Yes, it is. It's, um... I think I have, I'm using Roland sound. Jimmy goes down. Why is there no bandage? What? Yeah, this game is so broken. It said he goes down and is dying. It did not say he was killed. And he's dead. He's dead. It's the same round. I can't believe how many bugs this game has. Like, most of the gold box games have an occasional bug. This one is like riddled with bugs. It's bizarre. That's probably why I get such a low rating. For the reasons. Okay. What's his constitution? 18. Let's look at his hit points. 129. So his constitution dropped, but his hit points didn't drop this time. Zachary says, is this presumably a DOS port or all the other ports is buggy? Yes, this is DOS, which is what it was developed um, developed on originally. So it's not really a port. The other ones are the ports. DOS was the original. Um, I don't know if the others are buggy. I've never played them. Moody's on a 10 stream watch streak. Nice. Okay, let's get our spells back. Yeah, I'm done with this town. I'm done with Scamville. <laughs> There's like no direction on where to go either. Figure out which direction to go to get out of here. Alright, can I go here? And what did that say? Palm ratings. I think I already did this. Ask about the Oracle. Get a reading. Yeah, we did this. Lovely woman with long dark hair. No, 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 that's wrong. I see a dog. <laughs> I see you have great future as an adventurer. No, a merchant. You will sell weapons and shields. No, you will sell footwear. And from now on, your life will be gentle and full of peace. I see that your past has been tumultuous. Rest assured, no one will ever raise a hand to you ever again. That is all. I must rest now. <laughs> Great tomb. Entrance has been blocked. You cannot enter. Oh, that's right. I tried to make it to this. And um, there was like a fireball attack or something. Meteors were hitting me. I forgot about all that scam. <laughs> so this was the arena, I think. Closed due to rioting. Uh, 
Uh, Mr. Spock said this was me and you need to get a Macintosh too. I'd be curious to see if they fix this bug. Teams fix more bugs? Who knows? Sometimes a port was a complete rewrite. A lot of times back in the day, people didn't you know, code things to be platform independent. They didn't really know how to do that. So a lot of the code had to be written completely from scratch because like, it was assembly or whatever. Which I'm sure this is not assembly. Gave up their life to try to get some money. Hope it was worth it. Okay, let's see. Closed due to rioting. Golden stables. Oh yeah, that's right. Get out of here. It's this training wall. This reflects a true that may mean they were made better, LOL, or worse. Yeah, I mean, it's easy to have bugs in assembly. Super, super, super easy. Why a lot of people got away from a language like that. And start using higher level languages. Let's see. Here. I gotta find the exit to this town. Everywhere I go, <laughs> I'm still stuck. These are the 19 strength minotaurs. Okay, so I think I tried going left here and it wouldn't let me. Yeah, that's the palace. This is another gate I can't get in, I think. Queen's Palace. So South's the only other place.
No, oh, magic missile is probably not going to work because it's dumb mirror image. Let's see. I think I can cast this safely. Abort. You cannot enter. How do I get out of this town? Okay, there it is. There is a small house here. She's left. We want to leave. Good riddance. Okay. Let's see if we can go somewhere else. I think I've been over here yet, am I? Heavily armed merchant caravan approaches. They offer to show you the wares. Do you accept? Sure. You climb into a large wagon. What can we sell you, travelers? Well, I want some identification. Nice plus one. Stand plus two, sell. What did that say? It said something funny. I'll have to sell the other ceramic plate. It said something funny. It was too fast. Here we go. Let's see if we can see. I'm going to slow down DOS box. I will give it to one of my sons. <laughs> That's what it said. He's, she's going to give a slime that point to one of her sons. Uh, that's funny. Okay, at least we got our stuff identified. Let's see what you have to first say. Oh, it's just normal junk. Okay, is anybody overloaded? Holy moly, you are. Here you go, there's a 2,000 steel tip. There, have I been here? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I have. This is just like a normal town. You can't really explore it. leave. Okay, let's try to go to this place. Gorgon's attack. How far away? Nine?
Sounds like a machine gun. City of Trilloman. If it's another one of these, but just normal equipment. Guess we'll try the pub. Hey, it's the same guy that's in every single pub. <laughs> Reuse the same graphics everywhere. To you drink, talk, talk. Too bad we live so close to the holder folk. They're not so bad if you humor them. Even then, you never know. I'd love to trade with those clever gnomes in Alden and Matru, but it's so hard to travel there. Now, if I only had wings, I met some gnomes looking for their Grat Hanich. They've been looking for that rock for years. Why do they need another rock? They got plenty of them in their heads. There's nobody else to talk to. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. City of Vinlands. Oh, it's the exact same picture. Shop the same. Shop's the same. And I don't see any other visual on here besides something over there on the right side. So I guess we're just going to start trying to step on tiles here. There's something over there. How do I get over there? Okay, so I hit a button, it displayed some text real fast, couldn't read it, and it immediately went to me taking damage. Stay out of our land, cries a voice. Sho shower of arrows falls on you as you move. So we can't even go that we can't even go that way. What? There's a huge Phalanx of Fenol soldiers camped here. You will have to travel around them. Okay, let's go in the fortress. As you walk into the city, you notice the several bodies hanging over the gate. Claus tells you there is a strong aura of evil here. Okay. Evil. I guess we'll just save it. Fennel army guards sitting nearby motion for you to come over and talk. Guards note from your clothes that you are not from Calidus and ask if you would like to earn a few coins in the Theonolite army. Yes. The guards escort you into the guardhouse. You can outfit yourself at the corner storeroom. Then, when you're ready, go to the Hith Temple for orders. The quartermaster points to a pile of phenol army uniforms on the floor. Do you put them on? Yes. What may I sell you today? Just normal junk as usual? Okay. Do 
Phenolite army guards sit around a table talking. There is a pile of bones and armor to the east. Talk, attack, and or talk. One of the soldiers remarks on the smell coming from the palace. I don't know how the king can stand it, but he has given them refuge. He even has them in his palace guard. The Venolite corporate comments that another war is coming. It will happen when we get enough of these draconians. A young Thenol private smirks. What rebels? We got their leaders in prison. The rest of the rabble will be rounded up by the press gangs. Ignore. Army guards sit around a table. Okay, talk again. East. What does it say? Isle of Bones and Armor to the east. We're in the east. Okay, let's get out of there. The office of a senator. The rack here is filled with parchment scrolls. As you examine one, the scroll crumbles into dust. Main senate chambers, the building seems long abandoned. Temple of Mislaxia. That was the name of the temple that one guy asked me about, if I was loyal to it. As you enter, you see an old woman tending bar and a zombie stiffly walking around, cleaning tables. Seated in the tavern are a rowdy group of soldiers and a somber hooded figure. Talk to the hooded figure. As you sit down, you discover him as a hooded draconian nursing a mug of spirits. You sit down as he licks the inside of an empty mug. Why don't you buy me some more, he slurs. Will you buy him more? I guess. Ah, this is great. I have heard about Zripitz in the palace warrens. But is better than is was thought. As he slurps down another mug with his tongue wiping its inside, more please. Will you buy more? Yes. He's gonna probably pass out. Ah yes, they wanna take me to the camp to hurt Bullman. But I do what I want. Yes. Sleeping now, go away. As the draconian's head thumps to the table. Wander back to your table. <laughs> hey, Cody, welcome. How are you doing? Cody says, This is great. Talk. Let's see if we can talk to him again. He's passed out. Okay, talk to the soldiers. One of the guards laughingly tells you about a skeleton, skeletal warrior. Seems the guy was deaf when he was alive. He couldn't hear the orders from the Hith priests. The zombie shuffles by. A sign around his neck reads, Give me order. You pay him six steel. The zombie returns with your drink, spilling most of it on the way. The zombie resumes, wandering aimlessly around the tavern. Oh, that's weird. You're doing well. Glad to hear that, Cody. The viewport slides open. Weary human eyes peer out at you. Leave. Or I'll call the king's guard. City prison. The door is locked. Bash, pick, cast, knock, leave. Let's leave for now. Greetings. What can I do for you? Train, rest, news, attack. News. Notice on the wall warns of rebel ambushes. 
in the western quarter of town. Rest. Assuming we wandered around so much, our enlarges probably weren't off. Train? Okay, it takes us to the train menu. Uh, leave. Army lieutenant is working at his desk. Piles of bones and equipment are scattered around. What do you do? Talk or tackle? Talk. Where have you come from? Hith Temple. Dyslexia Temple. I don't remember. I mean, if this guy's bad, then this is not what we want to answer. How, it's just a guess. How do we know? I'll say Hith Temple. We'll go back to the Hith Temple and find out where you're to take recruits. The lieutenant roughly escorts you out the door. Back door is locked. King's Palace. Army guards sit around the table. Talk. A corporal tells you that the runes have been placed by Hith priests to keep the curious out of the old temples. Tranjamir ordered them closed, and they got closed. You wish to purchase equipment. It's all junk. Is this the same building? No, it's a different building. They use the same events. No one seems to be home. Overturned tables and chairs suggest a struggle. The temple press gang is kicking in doors and clamping people in irons. A woman runs up to the temple inquisitor. My husband, why are you doing this? He strikes the woman and shackles her. The other captives, what do you do? Talk. What do you want? We will take the prisoners, release them immediately. Can we be of any help? Hmm. I'm going to say we will take the prisoners. The High Temple Inquisitor hands you the lead of the chain. Very good. Take these rebels to the Hith Temple for induction into the Undead Army. Prisoners cry and moan at the news of their fate. The temple Inquisitors move on down the street. Will you release the prisoners? Yes. That was, that was a kindness. If you are truly of good heart, then seek out this Laxia cleric at the tavern. I was already at the tavern. City gate out, okay. Talk. Yeah, there's no there's no one to seek out here. Unless I do drink. No. Oh, this game's such a scam. King's Palace. Cody says, what could you have done with the prisoners? Ask him for a friend. He's hanging from a signpost. The only option was um, release them or not. <laughs> so I don't know. Closed. Barren housing for faithful of Hith. 
Sleeping mats, okay. Temple press gang kicking indoors. We will take the prisoners. It's the same thing. We release prisoners, yes. We're not we don't even get experience for that. Take the prisoners. We release prisoners, yes. May Miss Lexia reward you for your deed this day. <laughs> oh my goodness. In. Okay, we don't need the N. What do you soldiers want? Talk. Commander should not be disturbed. Go away. So yeah, oh my gosh, the, the tavern, there was nobody in there. Get off the streets. Go away. Cody says, I wonder if they just appear in your inventory as prisoner. No, you won't see anything. You won't even know that they're journeying with you. Hey, Ketten, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Is Dungeon Crawler your favorite genre? Yes. Um, are you asking if an RPG is my favorite genre? Or Dungeon Crawler, my favorite type of RPG. If you free these hostages, I'd be grateful. Once you have rescued the hostages, come back. I did help with hostages. That's so confusing. Corpse with a stake. Priest welcomes you to the temple. How may I help you? I thought the other place was closed. The other temple. This is just like all over the place. Take prisoners. Release the prisoners. Release prisoners from the chain gang. Young child leaps forward and gives you a hug, then scampers off. Okay, was that what I was wanting to do? Leave. Okay, so this is a tavern. Once you have rescued the hostages, come back and see. Okay, so obviously I'm not rescuing the hostages. Wow. Dungeon crawler. Well, okay, so if you're asking me if RPGs are my favorite genre compared to like strategy, sports games, and all that, I would say probably yes. Um, if you're asking, out of all the types of RPGs, are turn based dungeon crawlers my favorite? And. My favorite game RPG is Wizardry 8. So it's, it is phase based. It's 3D. Uh, I don't know if you call it a dungeon crawler, it kind of is. So it's kind of hard to answer that. Because <laughs> there's other games I really like that aren't that way, like um, Darklands. see i'm not accepting petitions i will call the temple priest leave this is like this town is just nonsense <laughs> blobber yeah exactly a blobber i like blobbers hey jimmy welcome to stream how are you doing he says don't listen to him he loves whatever genre Hills Forest. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I don't. 
Intruders feed upon them. Okay, well, we found a vampire at least. What the? Look how many vampires there are. Oh my goodness, this game. Get zapped. So the mage has a fire shield on it. Man, I don't even know where to position that, guys. This is such a bad fight. He's taking so much damage. I guess I'll cast the delay, delay blast fireball right here. <laughs> Cody says health bar transcends traditional labels. It does. Vampire scan, yeah, really. Look at this. And all these potential level drains. Mr. Spock says, hey, you can go into a house in that game and ride a horse. Two things you can't really do in these games. <laughs> He's talking about Hillsfar. Mr. Spock wants to defend it. Cody says, Hillsfar is an experience. <laughs> yes, it is. It's an experience, all right. There's Jimmy level drained. Who, seriously, who made this game? Come on. Jimmy's drained again. Cast Blade Bear and then boards it. Jimmy's almost, he has to almost be dead because he was already low on hit points. Jimmy says, have we gotten this far before in the other runs? This is the first time I've played this. So, no. <laughs> I'm playing this blind. This is my first time. I mean, I played this when I was a teenager. I never made it far at all. Ketten says, have you played the Divinity OS series? No, I have not. And I guess an ice storm. Really, really scammy here. Begins casting. Oh, and I can't move. Because if I try to move. Can we turn? Okay, we can turn some of them. I think we just turned one that was casting. Jimmy's drained again. He's going to be permanently killed. <laughs> Jimmy's killed. Slay living. Get zapped. Uh. 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 Cody says, if you like Hills Far, you would love Iron and Blood Warriors of Ravenloft. Nope, I do not. I don't think anyone loves Hillsfar. Unless they have memories of it from when they were a kid. That would be the only way you would love it. Zachary says, which was the best gold box game? If you ask my opinion, it's Pool of Radiance. Curse of the Azure Bonds is a really close second. But I think if you look at ratings based on... What people think in general, I think it's Curse of the Azure Bonds is the most popular. Ketten says, Divinity OS is the best turn-based RPG I've ever played. Yeah, Jimmy's ripped. And not in a good way. 15,000. Longswords. Okay, so...
Let's go to that temple. There was one here somewhere. It was over here. Leave. There it is. Heal. Repair. Jimmy is resurrected. He's lost no levels. Okay, we got his levels back. Cody says, I think the best gold box game depends if you liked them before or after Eye of the Beholder. Eye of the Beholder isn't gold box. That is um, silver box. And Jimmy says, what is there possibly to like about this part? Yeah. Yeah, this, this game's terrible. Sandstam says, if you have good memories of Hills Far as a kid, I'd recommend not playing it again. Exactly. <laughs> Yes. Mr. Spock says, what do you think the best silver box game is? I would say, out of the ones I've played, probably Eye of the Beholder. Heroes of the Lance had a lot of potential, but they screwed it up so much. And Hillsfar is definitely the worst. Jimmy says, have we played many of the silver box games? They all seem more arcadey. Yeah, no, I have I have when I was a kid, yes. I played them all. Well, not all. I played most of them. But on stream, no. I'm trying to think if I've streamed Silver or uh Hills Far once. I may have done Heroes of the Lance once. Cody says I bought it in Gold Box Collection on GOG. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I the Beholder is not a gold box game. <laughs> it's silver box. So Gog failed you there. <laughs> yeah, I bought the original. It came in a silver box. Okay, so the temple. Let's see what happens if we go back in there. Okay. There was a place to train. I can find it again. This town's so weird. Uh, where was it? Senate Chambers. <laughs> Mr. Spock says it's an RPG, so that's probably why they lumped it in. Yeah, exactly. It's an SSI RPG. Sandstam says more like fool's gold box, fool's gold box, or tin box. Fool's gold. <laughs> pyrite. It's pyrite box. That guy's still passed out. He's been passed out for hours. Prison. Okay, I didn't want to do that yet. Here it is. Train. What? We don't train that class here. Training scam. We don't train mages. Okay, well, let's break in here because I'm guessing this is where the hostages are. That we're supposed to rescue. Cody says silver boxes I associate with Konami. Yeah, they definitely have some. And Jimmy says, yeah, that first run of Famicom games back in the 80s, too. Yeah. Didn't, um, I'm trying to think of Kid Icarus. I'm trying to remember what that box looked like. That wasn't silver, was it? Look, it might have been black. Okay. I 
don't have enlarge. I don't like that. Knock. Who will knock on the door? Claws. Inside can be heard. Cries of anguish. We are the relief guards. We have prisoners. New orders from the commander. We are relief guards. None are scheduled. Go away. Cast. He does not have the knock spell memorized. Bash. Claws. Claws bashes down the door. There we go. Army guards and temple inquisitors are torturing an old man strapped to a rack. Hit the temple inquisitors detect your goodness and attack. This is different music. Black box for Kid Icarus. Okay. Sold in a silver or black box, Mr. Spock says, depending on when you bought it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Priest. It looks like a mage. Enchanted Civac. Thino Warrior. Thino Fanatic. Okay. Uh, I don't want to do this. We'll hit him first, I guess. Okay, mage gets to go. Let's see. Every single one of them made their saving throw. Priest had resist fire on him. Mr. Spock says, along with the bugs, doesn't this game feel like it was written by an entirely different team, too? It does. Yes, definitely. It feels it feels very amateurish to me. Let's see. If I go here, one, two, three, that won't work. I guess the lightning bolt there, I guess. Barrel. Oh, he's immune to lightning. Yeah. 
meteors down. Jimmy survived with 11 hit points. Okay, let's see if any of this is magical. Of course not. Let's lay on hands. Okay. Slain Temple Inquisitor is lying nearby. An old man lies strapped to the Inquisition rack. Do you release him? Yes. The old man gasps, thank you for avenging my death. He slumps forward unconscious. Will someone save him? Yes. Who will cast a cure spell? Jimmy. That old man awakens. Thank you for saving me. The Hithites have left me nothing. Thank you. To thank you, but go to the quiet Kendra Tavern. Surely be rewarded. Okay, so that must be the guy that they wanted me to rescue. Holding cells. Ah, you'll not make us that undead? Bash. Nothing happens? Really? Doesn't know how to pick locks. Can I rest here? Okay, we can rest. Let's see if we can memorize. Knock. Cast opens the door. The men are surprised as it set them free. Wonders be, tis a new dawn for the rebellion. Heroes such as these we will meet at the quiet Kendra Tavern. They pause long enough to thank you and then leave. Party gains experience. Knock. Knocking on. Oh, I have to do cast. Oh, I have to memorize it each time. Kindness is new, Orem. Tis a strange time indeed. I must not tarry long here. He hobbles past you and escapes. Women and children are locked. Cast. Women clutch their children as you release them. Thank you, kind heroes. We will see your goodness is not soon forgotten. Scurry away from the prison. Okay. Let's go back. And before I exit, we'll do enlarge because we may get in a fight on our way back. Oh, and Flippy Dippy, if you're still on air, uh, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. That was a while ago. That's not it. I've heard of your daring rescue. For some time, we will have Sanskrit. Will you investigate? Yes. Please do us the honor of accepting this token of our appreciation. <laughs> really? A cleric scroll? And we don't have a cleric? Gee, thank you. 
<laughs> this clay pass will buy you entrance to the rear entrance of the palace. Here it is. Here's the tavern. Brave heroes, thank you for freeing the hostages. Take this talisman. With it, you will be aided by friends of Mislaxia against the Hith worshippers. Party gains experience. Use this talisman to enter the Rebel Street House. There you will find friends. Rebel Street House, okay. Okay, guys, I think this is a good voice to save it and be done. Yeah, one of the challenges for this game to me is there isn't a lot of guidance on where to go. And there's too many random encounters compared to most gold box games. And it's the same fight over and over and over. Which is uh, kind of tedious, you know. So I can definitely, like I said, like Duncan said before, this was rated one of the worst five D and D games, and I can I can see that. And it's the shame of it is, you know, because I played every single other gold box game. The shame of it is, with the engine, in theory, it could have been better, but it's almost like they got lazy with the writing and the story and instructions and guidance and too many bugs. They didn't do enough play testing. They probably just tried to push it out quickly is my guess. Duncan says there is guidance in this game, but you never completed something. You skipped it. Yeah, I'm sure the guidance wouldn't be good though. Even with that, Jimmy says, yeah, this one's pretty rough. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.